Bob, quite a year. How would you describe your 2021? Um, overall, successful year. Um, had ups and downs, a lot of highs um, that were, were really high, a lot of lows that were really low, but overall I'd say I mean, it's my best year to date um, on the race to Dubai. So, I mean, overall it's been a great year. Did you exceed your own expectations this year? No, no. I've I set my expectations, they're high. Um, I'm a dreamer, so you're always going to set, set goals high and a bit disappointed I didn't get a win, but um, I had some great performances in majors and get to do them all again next year. Some people shy away from setting ambitious goals, but do you go the other way then? You like to, to push it as far as you possibly can? I do. I, I seem, I mean, over, over the last two years, I'd say my performances are their best when I'm out my comfort zone at majors, big events, um, and and that's where everyone wants to play golf. And when you get into the position that you can compete in them, then I mean, you want to take it, grab it with both hands. And um, yeah, I set goals high. I mean, I don't sometimes don't tell people what my goals are, but um, no, I set them as high as I can. And if you just miss them, then it's still going to be a good season. How would you describe the experience of Augusta then? Yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, I've played it on PlayStations and whatnot, and um, always dreamed of, of playing there as a kid. And to get there and have my family there, and, um, it was just the most special week of my life. Did playing it on the PlayStation help you? No, not at all. Uh, I had to control my golf ball as well as I ever have, and it's just a place that you. I mean, if I, if it was the only time I ever played it, if I played it once in my life, I'd have been happy, but. I mean, to get to compete in the Masters. And again, I get to do it again, and um, hopefully we can, can do a bit better. You mentioned it's been a, a year of highs and lows. I guess the frustration for you would be perhaps the Ryder Cup. How did you deal with the, the disappointment of not quite making it? You know, there was a lot going on. Um, I was trying to get my PGA Tour card. I was, I was right in position to do that. I got temporary status on the PGA Tour, and, I was weighing up where do we go from here and I decided to take a shot at what's best for my, my own career and that was playing country tour finals and I didn't have the best of two weeks um, out there and you know what looking back if I had another shot of doing it and this year maybe next year would I do the same? Absolutely. I mean golf's an individual sport for 99.9% .9 of the time and I mean Everyone's goal is to get a PGA Tour card and compete against the best players in the world. And I gave it my best shot, and I would just fell short. But we'll get another chance. Were you able to watch the Ryder Cup, or was it difficult? No, I watched it. Um, obviously, supporting everyone that was was involved for Europe, and it was disappointing not to be there. But at the end of the day, I didn't play well enough when I had to. Off the back of it, a lot of debate prompted by. Europe's frustrations about what next for European golf, a discussion about whether it's going to need to be reinvigorated, new faces, new blood. Do you feel you can be part of that conversation moving forward in, in 2022 and beyond? Yeah, 100%. I mean, that's one of my main goals now is to be in that team for Italy. Um, there's a few really good young guys. Obviously, Victor, he's playing unbelievable in the States. You've got the, the twins, the Hoygaard twins. Um, so, yeah, I think there could be a new a new bunch of guys in that team in, in two years' time. You used some of the time when you weren't part of the Ryder Cup team to, to go back home, play a little bit of shinty as a distraction. Was that good to, to clear the head and enjoy yourself? It's brilliant. It's, I mean, it's in the blood, it's in the family. It's in the family's history, really. Um, I gave it up for six, seven years when I decided to give golf a real go. and. I'm just glad that I went back to it and I just, it gets me spending time with, with friends more so than, than anything, socialising with friends that I've grown up with and just getting back to being, being Bob. Of course, all four majors on the horizon for 2022. What are your objectives for, for next year? I want to compete in one of them, like really um, have a chance going in the back nine on a Sunday. Um, if I can do that, then... It's a big step for my career. I mean, I had a chance at the Open, I'd say, this year with six holes to go. Um, and I, I try to push, and I probably try to push too hard. And 
it didn't go my way, but no, that's that's the goal for me is to really have a chance in one of the majors. Um, obviously, have a chance in all, hopefully all four. But for me, it's just I have one chance this year um, at any given time in the major and try and take it.